as we've talked about a lot lately, Sierra had a lot of major game series, often involving several episodes. There are also some smaller series, usually involving only one or two games. Today we're going to look at their additions to some legendary myths, from King Arthur to Robin Hood. We are talking about the Conquest games. I'm Olaf, and welcome to Geek Trivia. a small series that started off with Conquest for Camelot, starting with the story about King Arthur and his knight sinking the Holy Grail. This was an interesting game as it had a different style of scoring. It was based on skill, wisdom, and soul. The skill scoring was all about performing deeds that helped Arthur along in his quest and defeating enemies, such as the jousting scene or killing boars. Wisdom counted when examining things, talking to others, and gaining hints, such as wh what the grail looks like. Soul was for performing good deeds to help others. When the game begins, we start not with Arthur pulling Excalibur out of the stone, or even him solidifying Britain as a country, but with Camelot in decline because of the love triangle between Arthur, Guinevere, and Lancelot. After having a vision of the Grail, Gwen, Lancelot, and Galahad depart on their quest to find it. When they do not return, Arthur decides to go on a quest to find them and help them find the Holy Grail. We get to joust against the Black Knight, meet a mad hermit, and even face against the Lady of the Lake in a riddle challenge. Visiting parts of England and Gaza, we get to travel around the, at the time, known world and help find our missing friends and knights. The game features a lot of lore about King Arthur and his less focused on quest. The game is really interesting, I find, because it doesn't focus on the more well-known aspects of Arthurian legend. It touches on the love quarrel that spells the ultimate doom, but that isn't the main part of the story. Also, the game ends before his death, which is a nice touch. You know all that story, and this is something a little bit different. The second game in the series, which some might argue isn't really a sequel because it deals with a completely different legend, is Conquest of the Longbow, featuring none other than Robin Hood. Again, it doesn't go into the story of the origin of Robin and his merry men. The band has already been formed and is well known for robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. At the same time, he does not know Maid Marian yet. When we start, Robin is advised to practice his archery just to keep his skills up and that the coffers are getting light and could use refilling. So you go to the main road to Nottingham and rob someone, thus establishing the general flow of the game. He soon gets drunk and dreams of a lovely maiden dancing in the forest, waking with half a jewel heart in his hand. From there, things really kick off and the story gets going. Unlike some other games, there are choices and advice you can be given from multiple people in your band. The choice you make on how to do things will affect the outcome. How many members of your band survive and such. It's a great way to have a bit of replay value. Now, this game does still have the same Sierra problems as other games. You can miss things in one day that makes future puzzles impossible to complete. So it is very important to follow the instructions and make sure you examine everything. With Longbow, there are four possible endings depending on what you did and how well you did them. You can be hanged for your crimes, given a pardon, given a pardon and a job in the king's service, or get a pardon, a noble title, and get married to Maid Marian. This was a game that I remember playing a lot. It introduced me to the board game Nine Men's Morris, which I had never experienced before, but has shown up a 
ton of times in more recent games. It is a great tale and has a lot of humor behind it as well. So there's our peek at the Conquest games, a generally accepted mini-series of games from Sierra. What do you think about the games? Would you have preferred that they retold already established legends, or do you like their fresh look style of story? Do you think they qualify as an actual series, or do you consider them to be completely unrelated games? Leave a comment down below and let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned! For more from Olav Productions. Cheerio! Nope. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah! Wow, that's loud in my ears. And I'm dead again. Yeah! And while the deaths in Space Quest series are plentiful, they are also kind of fun. From trying to pick up a sheet of metal and slicing an artery,